Often medial and lateral instability is tested at full knee extension and 30 degrees of knee flexion. However, the test at 30 degrees flexion is not reliable for osteoarthritis. I am testing for instability at zero degrees with the ankle under my arm and the thumb on the joint line. Now to test for medial instability, which really in te tests the integrity of the medial collateral ligament, I apply a valgus dress and look for a gap over the medial joint line. To test for lateral collateral ligament stability, I apply a varus dress and look for a gap over the lateral joint line. To test for anterior and posterior instability, I put the leg in uh, 60 degrees of flexion and I make sure that the patient's knee is relaxed. You can tell when the knee is relaxed when the hamstrings are not tight in the back of the knee. Um, and, and you can only do this test with relaxed hamstrings. So the anterior cruciate ligament integrity is tested with the anterior drawer test where you pull the tibia forward and look for movement of the tibia in relation to the femur. And you can see that there's actually forward movement. So the anterior uh, drawer test is positive. Posterior drawer test tests the posterior cruciate ligament integrity where you push the tibia back in relation to the femur and watch for movement, and there is none. The other way we can assess uh, for posterior cruciate ligament uh, uh, integrity is to put both legs up to 90 degrees, this one too. So for the posterior sag test, we place the knees at 90 degrees and look for posterior sagging of the tibia uh, in relation to the femur. And um, we can compare sides and there's no posterior sag here.